an opening statement and we'll open it up for questions. Okay, uh, first of all, congratulations to the Florida Gators. Um, they outplayed us tonight. Uh, it was loud. Their atmosphere was really good. You know, you look at the game, we dug ourselves a hole uh, in the first, first quarter. Um, had trouble tackling. They made some explosive plays. Um, offensively, one of seven on third down. You're not going to be effective at all uh, on, on one of seven third down. And then we were came out of the second half. We had a good drive. We had to settle for a field goal. We got to figure out ways to get in the end zone. Uh, and then it was, you know, we our kids battled. I'm proud of our, our players for battling. They played extremely hard. We had some young guys that uh, hadn't played that got in there and made some plays. Uh, but the bottom line, we just didn't get it done. Um, so congratulations to those guys. Um, you know, the non-conference is over. And so now we got to play better football. I expect that we will. Uh, looking forward to, to playing Cincinnati. Questions? Coach, how would you evaluate KJ Jefferson and his play tonight, some of his decision making on that opening drive of the second half, kind of the red zone, and, and some other uh, holding on the ball too long and things like that? Yeah, I mean, he, he was under duress. Uh, a lot of that, in fairness to him, he was under duress. We didn't protect him very well, and I don't know how many times we were sacked, but it was quite a bit, and so it was really tough to judge, you know, as far as that goes. You just yeah. said that uh, this team needs to play better football, and you expect that they will. Why do you expect that they will, based on the show? Uh, just knowing games? what I know. I mean, I know we didn't play good tonight, and I know we didn't play good the night before, but we got a lot of winners in that locker room. Um, we got to solve some things. We will solve some things, um, so I expect us to play better. Gus, you guys got another slow start again and find yourself in a hole yeah. deep again. What do you guys need to do to, to, to keep from that happening? Yeah, no doubt. we got to solve that. That starts with me. I, we've, got, we've got to figure out. Like I said, the big thing is the third downs. I mean, you know, they're going to – they had a week off. There were some new wrinkles um, that they – they scored. They got good players. We had to answer the bell offensively. We didn't answer the bell offensively to keep up with them. Uh, I was proud of our defense in, in the second half. I mean, they, they shut them out in the second half. They they did a good job as far as that goes, and we just couldn't couldn't answer the bell offensively to keep up with them. Coach, in the red zone, the lack of uh, the production, do you think there's more from play calling, the lack of execution? It's probably all of the above. It's all of the above. You know, anytime you're not successful in red zone, um, there's a lot of different issues. Yeah. Coach, what do you think you should actually uh, bring some balance to the offense, perhaps? You seem to see R.J. Harvey coming. Well, you know, they did a good job up front. Uh, they put an extra guy in there at times, like y'all saw. Um, but we got to be creative. I mean, we got to help our guys out and be creative. And um, we got to do a better job doing that. You know, I don't know balance wise, we didn't have, I mean, we didn't have very many yards, period. But, uh, you know, I think one of the things we were fairly balanced, but that ain't good enough. We got to run the football. I think y'all know that. For us to be successful as we need to be, we got to put rushing yards on there. and and we got to got to be able to throw it deep. We you think said last week after the loss that you need to focus on us. How do you do that when facing the adversity of a two game losing streak? Yeah, it's two games. That's the way you look at it. And we feel like crap right now. And we did last week. I expect us to play better, but um, we got to solve it. Um, like I said we've got conference non conference over. All of our goals are still intact. Um, like I said, we have a team that'll fight. They fight till the end. Bunch of great kids. We got some talented guys in certain positions. We got some young guys that. We're going to start playing. Grant Reddick, I thought, did an unbelievable job in a tough spot. Um, you know, came in there and kicked two field goals and kept the momentum going. Um, we're a lot closer than that score, I'll tell you that. And so that's the reason I say that. You got the yes, ball about last four and a half minutes to go in the, in the game. It just didn't look like there was any sense of urgency. Why was there not more plays? Rather, I think it was only four plays before the two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, uh, yeah, we got to do a better job in, in some of those areas. What has changed along the offensive line that has led to a lack of consistency in the run game the last two weeks? Uh, the opponents had something to do with it. D-line, both the D-lines we played were, were better than the D-lines we played the, the first uh, three weeks. But like I told you, I, you know, from a coaching standpoint, we got to do a better job helping our guys. And um, that's what we need to do. Gosh, you think you had a handful of players obviously chose to redshirt this yep. year. What does that mean for you guys? When did you find out about this? And yeah. what do you have to do moving forward? To well, we're in the new age of college football. Um, I know we're not the only team experiencing that, but you know, it's next man up. That's just what you got to do. Um, and you know, like I said, Grant Riddick was a guy that, um, you know, Colton was hurt, just so everybody knows. I mean, he's been battling a, an ankle injury for a while. He's been fighting through and just got to the point where, uh, you know, he couldn't do it, so Grant, got in there. We'll see if we can get Colton back. You know, I know he'll 
you know, try as best as far as that goes. Um, then we had some other guys decide to, you know, opt out and, and go to other other schools. So it's just next man up. Is that uh, disappointing for you? Uh, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, it, it's a new age of college football. You got to adapt, and that's probably the best way to put it for me. Okay. Points tonight. Did you think about replacing the quarterback and getting maybe? It, no, I, I didn't tonight. I, we didn't play great around him at times. Like I said. Uh, you know, and when we don't protect him, it, it's it would have been tough on anybody. What do you see, CJ, that uh, makes you feel like he's the right guy to lead this offense? Uh, the just you know, coaching for 33 years and uh, knowing that you know he's a winner, got a lot of winners and, in him, and we got to do a better job around him and, and help him. Hey guys, you called last week a missed opportunity. How do you describe? What you put on the field tonight? Yeah, not good. I mean, I, I know that wasn't good, but uh, you got to give them credit. Um, when you play on the road, you got to play good football, and and we didn't. Kobe's first Two target more. came right before the end of the first half. How do you get him more? Yeah, we got to do. We got to move him around a little bit. They, you know, we had him the boundary mainly, and and they had a safety over the top taking some things away. So we got to start moving him around. You spoke Watch about uh, toughness and togetherness since fall camp began. Considering the way that things have played out the last two weeks and the events of this week, are you seeing that from your team? Yeah, our guys are tough. They are together. Uh, they battle till the end. Um, there's no issues as far as that goes. We just got to do a better job coaching, a better job playing on the field. Coach, uh, you last were thirty percent on third down for the second week in a row. What do you have to do in these situations to ensure more offensive production? Yeah, correct it. I mean, correct it. And like I said, it starts with 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 coaching and put our guys in the best situations possible. Um, you know, like I said, you got to give them credit. Um, they did a good job. They got some some real guys at certain positions, and um, you know, we'll we'll get better on third down. All right, thanks, coach. Thanks, everybody.